Well, good morning. It's now just about 6.30 in the morning of Monday the 25th of June. I'm Andy and this wonderful place at the moment is my allotment. A couple of weeks since you've actually seen uh, around my allotment in particular as last week I did a tour of the allotment site in general because we're only a small place with only um, 16, 17 plots on it I believe. So I did a quick run around there yesterday but today it's back to show you what's going on on mine. Um, first thing to show you is uh, last time we came down this was a wilderness because all this on this side was like that as you can see it's just horrible weeds are four foot high and all this was the same so i borrowed a strimmer and strimmed all the way down there as you can see i've laid black fabric down to act like a buffer between me and the orchard area which really should be cleaned and trimmed but hasn't been for a while the black plastic goes up the top and it goes around the back and part way towards the shed. I'm not going to walk down there today because nothing to show you down there to be honest apart from black fabric. But as you can see I've got some spare bricks that I've had here for quite some time which I'm now using to, to edge the path. Um, not had permission yet from the committee to do this so I'm hoping they're okay with it. Um, but I'm working on the principle that when it's down and it looks okay and it's not causing a problem and it's better than it was, they're going to be path of least resistance, why have me take it all up so they can do it again? So I'm hoping that's the way it's going to go anyway. But watch this space. So, start of a path. Uh, this right hand side I'm going to be putting fruit bushes down to make a fruit hedge. I've got about 18 inches there, it should be enough to have a nice thin cordon which I have to keep on top of, make sure it doesn't overhang the, uh, the path, but that's a minor thing. Right, let's move on to the, uh, the courgettes and the pumpkins. As you can see, we have now got flowers coming on a couple of courgettes there and this one over this side uh, in the middle there was a butternut squash which was the biggest plant when it went in it's now one of the smallest i don't understand how that's happened but maybe it'll just suddenly take a, a growth and spurt and go i don't know a few bits of grass coming through here i need to pull out but overall not that many weeds and at the back down there as you can see we've got a huge pumpkin right at the very back going absolutely massive that one now it's going to start trailing any day now so I'm very happy with that. And then the courgette on the left hand side closest to us, um, that unfortunately got bashed because that panel, as you can see there, that I've covered in fabric was holding back all my compost. It didn't hold it back very well. Very well. It fell over, landed on it and crushed the plant. Um, a small yellow courgette was starting up crushed off, but the plant itself is recovering, but the one behind it is the same variety and you can see the difference between a crushed and non-crushed. So hopefully we'll be fine. Um, square foot gardening bed. Uh, at this end I tried to plant some more crops but with the weather we've been having very few have come through. I've got some leeks coming through, I've got some radishes, more radish than anything else to be honest, and some beetroot in there. Hopefully they'll be alright, we shall see, we shall see. And then at the back there, all my salad crops as you can see are doing absolutely fantastically well. Um, I've got some pak choy there which is starting to uh, um, go to seed unfortunately because it's the heat and they don't like the heat. When I planted it at the beginning of June, it's normally okay because it's July, August, we normally get the heat, but look fantastically well. So I've got some spinach, I've got some mizuna, I've got some carrots hiding underneath there, those are turnips, um, I've got rocket, I've got lettuce, Lola Rosso, everything in here, all crammed together, doing really, really well. Fantastic. Uh, onto the current bed. Um, not sure if you can see that in there, but. Uh, some fantastic white currants coming now. These are virtually ready. Another few days I'll be taking these, um, but they're doing absolutely wonderfully well. This is probably a better one to show you there. Lots and lots of currants on there, doing great. And the uh, gooseberries are going red, which is nice. So they'll be coming off very soon. In the middle of there as well, maybe you can see over there, I've got some red currants. I trimmed that bush right back last year because it's getting too big. Um, perhaps a mistake because I've hardly got any fruit this year, but still. Uh, at the bottom of here we have got raspberries, just the odd one or two. Now I've already had about 700 grams of raspberries off here. Um, it's looking like I'm probably going to get another couple of kilos. Um, single breaker and bush over there, that one's not been trimmed back and you can see the difference. Look how many red currants we've got on there and white currants, absolutely heaving with them. They're being pick picked tonight. Uh, this bed here has got onions, carrots and garlic. And as you can see, they're all doing fantastically well. Five different rows of different carrots. And I've got um, half a dozen rows of uh, garlic at the front and onions at the back here. And that's a big weed coming through the middle, which I'm just seeing I'm going to grab now. 
stupid weed. All right, gone. A few more weeds in there I need to get out, but uh, most of it has been kept fairly weed free, so it's doing okay. Quick glance at the strawberries. Let me get down past the raspberries. Now, these are my strawberries. Now I've had so far about seven kilos of strawberries from here. As you can see, as we walk along here, strawberries everywhere, doing really, really well. Um, this is where you can see the path. Again, as I said, there's nothing much to see. Just go around there, around the corner and halfway down there. Uh, rhubarb, doing really, really well. Excuse my shadow. And my grandson's bed. Now, yesterday we pulled off about 700 grams of strawberries from his little bit here and a couple of hundred grams of raspberries. So he's very happy. We also harvested his garlic, some which turned out to be shallots. Don't know how, but they did. Um, blackberries, coming on fantastically well, but not ready yet, nowhere near ready yet. Uh, a few more weeks yet to go on these and we'll have them sorted. Okay, back up here. This is my dumping bed at the moment. There's not, I've not really done anything with it for ages. I just need to clear it all out, get some soil, some manure in it, and then finish off. Beans doing well. Not starting to twine as yet, but they're, uh, they're getting close. They're getting close. And the garlic that was over there, that I thought was onions last time I did the video, because they were great big bulbs, has turned out to be garlic after all. So, no surprises there. I should have listened to my own label. Potatoes, first earlies. Now, because these are all in buckets, I'm struggling with these in the wind, in the uh, in the sun, because they're starting to wilt and not give anything really. So um, I have to be careful and keep topping up with water. It's the only thing I'm watering on the plot really are these and the hanging baskets. Uh, potatoes. Now I'm not sure what happened with this bucket because I've got two potatoes in each bucket, and I think is that potato coming through? No, that's weeds. Those are those are little weeds coming through. So. I don't know what's happened to this because they've been treated exactly the same as the others. And this is uh, uh, Sapo Mira, so they should be fine. I mean, look at the, look at those in the other five buckets and that bucket, nothing. I definitely put potatoes in it. I'm sure I put potatoes in it. Uh, over this side, these were put in really, really late in the bags. That was the uh, pink fir apples. So they're doing fine. But again, it's just going to take some time. Um, brassicas. We last saw these, they've only just been put in. Look at them now. They look like proper cabbages. And there's some uh, kohlrabi in the middle there, which I'm hoping you can see okay. And they're coming on quite nicely. And proper cabbages again at the end. Sweet corn doing fantastically well. And the one that I dropped this big piece of wood on here, when I was trying to move it before and broke it, it's in the middle there. And it's doing okay, it survived, woohoo. So it's just been a little bit stunted, but we're fine. More sweet corn, more brassicas. Now I've got one there that's gone to seed, which is a, a purple sprouting. It sprouted early, but uh, I've got purple sprouting there. I've got uh, calabrese here, and then at this top end, I've got red Brussels sprouts. So inside there, excuse my shadow yet again, I've got some red Brussels sprouts. Quick run around the greenhouse to finish off, because we're eight and a half minutes. Okay. The tomatoes last you saw were very tiny. I've started to grow a bit more now. Now they're uh, probably about a foot tall. As I say, I've got uh, two different uh, plants of four different varieties in there. I was going to put more at the back, but I haven't got around to doing it yet. I've been busy, I've been out and all the rest of it. Fruit bushes, I keep saying that, I've got to get these in, but now I've built the, um, the path at the bottom, I can find somewhere to put them. Peppers at the back doing really well, and a couple of peppers there. Peppers in the front, they're putting into bigger pots, but I haven't got space for them at the moment. Um, celeriac in there doing really really well, swede doing well, peas at the front here in this, in this trough. Not as many come up as I was hoping and they're all coming up at different times which is a bit strange but still. Um, these are the garlic which I thought were onions but the reason why is because I saw the top of that one and it was like greeny like looking like an onion but it's actually garlic all that. Uh, this is from my grandsons, this is what we picked up yesterday. As you can see we've got some garlic and we also have shallots. How we got shallots, I don't know, because I didn't plant any. But we got shallots. Not complaining. He's got something for free. And then all my herbs and my tumbling toms, which I still haven't got in the ground or in the pots. I've got to do that. I, I really have. I've got so much to do with so little time. It's just annoying. Um, in there, this is was where I was supposed to be planting my parsnips. I think I may have one parsnip there. But apart from that, everything else is weeds, so this is a failed experiment. 
down there at the back I've got herbs and the front the brassicas that I planted that have just survived that tray all gone so just over 10 minutes which is enough for anybody fantastically lovely day today um, unfortunately I'm only down here for another hour I've got work to do today so I thought I'd come down and have a good start while I had the opportunity and what a fantastic view this is it looks absolutely fantastic which is helpful when you get to the sort of the winter time and you're looking at it thinking why am I bothering it's looking back on videos like this and seeing what can be achieved with a lot of work admittedly but it's still achievable and it's great I'm very very happy to be here anyway Thank you all for watching, thanks for subscribing. If you do like what you see here and you want to follow the progress of my allotment, hit that subscribe button, send me messages if you like, uh, send me photographs of what you're doing. Um, enjoying it. Just enjoy, enjoy your gardening, the way I'm enjoying mine. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.